Sometimes I like to close my eyes and imagine what it'd be like when summer does come. <sighs> Olaf? That's right, Olaf. Just imagine how much cooler I'll be in summer. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute DIY Olaf snow globe. And it's really easy to make. It doesn't take that much time. It took me 15 to 20 minutes to make it and it's very inexpensive. The only part that was a little expensive was the actual snow globe, which I bought from Michaels for $6.99. But you could even use a mason jar to make it even cheaper. And it's just a really cute DIY. I'm really proud of how it turned out. And what I did was I just added glitter into it, and so when you shake it, the glitter just kind of sticks to the sides, but you can use liquid if you want. It's just you need special glue, and I wasn't sure how the fake trees would do with the liquid, so if you want to do the liquid, I will put the ingredients in the down bar. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and if you recreate this DIY, please, please send me pictures on Instagram and Twitter, because I really want to see your recreations, because this is just such a fun, cute little DIY. And then the one part that I found a little difficult for this DIY was the actual Olaf, because at first I thought that I could just buy one of the Olaf figurines online, just a little figurine, but... Online, they sell for like $20, which is so expensive, and I did not want to spend that much for a little Olaf. So I went to the store, and I was looking for something that looks like Olaf that was cheaper. I thought maybe an ornament. So I was at Walgreens, and I saw the little Pez candy dispensers, and they had Olaf Pez dispensers. So I just bought that for $1.89, really cheap, and I just broke Olaf off and used that. And it ended up working out really well, and it looks really cute. So I hope you guys enjoy this DIY. And let's get on to how to make it. So the first step is to take the Olaf Pez dispenser and snap it in half. This will take a couple of tries, but it snaps off pretty easily. Olaf is missing his arms, so I'm taking tree branches and I'm trimming them down to fit his body. Then I'm super gluing them to his sides. And then I'm gluing another small branch to give him three fingers so that he doesn't look like a crab. Olaf usually has twigs sticking out of his head, so I took three skinny branches and glued them to the top of his head. And they were a little long, so I trimmed them down. Once Olaf is done, I'm taking the two fake trees and I'm gluing them into the snow globe. And then I glued Olaf down in front of the tree so it looks like he's in a little forest. Next I'm taking the top of the globe and I'm pouring in the iridescent glitter. And there's no exact measurement to this, I just poured the glitter until the entire bottom of the globe was covered. Now that the glitter is in, I'm putting the snow globe back together and sealing it shut. Now turn the globe right side up and it will ring glitter onto Olaf and the forest. To decorate the globe and make it even cuter, I'm taking my blue glitter tape and I'm measuring it around the globe and cutting off the amount I need. Then I'm peeling the backing off the tape and I'm taping the blue glitter around the globe. That is how you make an Olaf snow globe. This is perfect for decorating your room or can even be an awesome gift to give to a friend. Thanks for watching and I love you guys so much. Bye! Born of cold and winter, air and mountain rain combined. Put in some eyes, some mouth, make some arms. feet. <laughs> he looks like a penguin. <laughs> oh, man. This, this isn't going to work out. Alright. I'm going to try to find a different option for Olaf. 